Eric Darling here with Darling Data. I'm going to remember to flip the switch on my thing this time. And we're going to get started. Uh, I, was, I had a whole funny thing to say, but that, uh, that took the, took, really took the wind out of the sails there. So screw it. We're just going to keep going. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you and uh, share with you a script um, that I use uh, locally in the Stack Overflow demo database to find uh, columns where the density vector estimate would not be good. Uh, and the reason why I, 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 had to, I did this is because, you know, uh, I, I, I am a SQL Server consultant, trainer extraordinaire, uh, and I need to come up with good demos. And sometimes when, uh, you know, I need to either show clients or I need to put together training about um, things that cause bad cardinality estimates, Probably the most common one that I see, you know, aside from like table variables or, you know, non sargable predicates, is when people use local variables in their where clauses. Um, I'm not going to go into all that because I've got a post about that. Um, if, if you are t just so anxious to see that post, uh, it's on my website, ericdarling.com. The title of the post is Yet Another Post About Local Variables. Uh, there will be a link to that in the video description, just in case um, you have some contrary urges to Googling or whatever that. Uh, and, you know, I have to come up with stuff that proves out my point that, you know, that for the gen in general, local variables are not a best practice to replace parameters with. You don't want to fix parameter sniffing that way. It's not, you won't have a good time. And so I wrote this script to do that. But before we go look at the magnificent majesty that is that script, uh, let's talk about how you and I can get closer. Um, if you would like a membership to this channel for as low as $4 a month, you can click uh, the link that says like join now or something in the video description. Uh, and that should bring you right to where you need to go. Uh, all, as usual, all of this content is free, of course. Uh, and if you just want it to, you know, keep leeching off my hard work, uh, you could at least like, comment, and subscribe so that uh, I, I feel a little bit less lonely in this crazy, mixed-up world. Uh, uh, I don't know, that's good enough there. Uh, if you need SQL Server help, if you're in the market for consulting, I am pretty good at all of these things. Actually, I'm very good at all of these things. I'm better than pretty good. Very good at all these things. And, uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you decide to do any of this with me, you don't have to do the other stuff. Uh, if you would like some high-quality, low-cost SQL Server performance tuning content, well, what do you know? As a SQL Server consultant, as noted by the last slide, and trainer extraordinaire, as noted by this slide, you can get all of mine for life for 75% off, which means about 150 USD at the end of the day. Uh, discount code there, link up there, of course, all of that in the video description. Uh, I don't know how many more of these videos I'm going to actually have this information in because at this point I sort of forget where I have these scheduled out on the blog and where I have these scheduled out in the month. So um, November 4th and 5th, past data summit, me and Kendra Little, two days of performance tuning train, performance tuning pre-cons, not performance tuning train wrecks. Uh, I mean, you, know, you, you have the train wrecks, we have the performance tuning. Uh, so that's, that'll be fun. Um, uh, hopefully by the time you watch this video, there's still time to buy a ticket. So with that out of the way, let's get on with the show and look at this fantastic script that I wrote. Um, I forget when I wrote it, but anyway. Um, so full caveat here, I, I run this script specific to the Stack Overflow database. And because I'm not starting with any statistics, uh, I actually drop all the statistics and indexes to, before I run this. I have to do some initial stuff in here to create uh, statistics on all of the columns that I care about. So I have some preamble stuff in here that will create st statistics on everything. Please review the script carefully. If you already if you already working with a database, you're not going to want to uh, run drop indexes to drop indexes and statistics. You probably hopefully don't even have that installed on your production server slash database. Uh, and then you're also going to want to skip the part that does the create statistics stuff because you don't need to create a whole bunch of extra statistics, statistics in there. Um, so that's the first part that kind of goes and does that. And then after the statistics, st statistics get created, boy, oh boy, we're having a great tongue day today, aren't we? Let's over this thing. 
uh, I create a few tables to hold the output of dbcc commands. Um, I, I know that there are built-in DMVs and DMFs that do some of the stat stuff now, but uh, I like the way that these things work a little bit better and the way that they, you know, some of the information that they give a little bit better. So I stick with the old-fashioned dbcc commands. And uh, then I go and I cursor over the statistics that I care about and I run... Um, the DBCC show statistics with stat header and I put that in a table and then I have to do some updates to make sure that I have the right stats names and stuff in there uh, and then I oops uh, I hit the wrong button outside of the VM <laughs> that looked funny oh, my, that looked funny locally you probably didn't see anything uh, and then I do the same thing uh, for the density vector part of DBC show statistics, and then I do the same thing with the histogram. So I get three different DBCC show statistics components separately, and I put those into table variables because performance does not matter here. I can use table variables. It's wonderful. But then I take all that stuff, and I put all of that into a temp table, and then um, right there, and so that's the results of the header and the vector and the histogram. And then I run some queries to show me what comes out of that. Now, I've already run this, so we don't have to do most of it. But um, there's, a, there's a few different results in here. And the, the one where I found really the best, um, the best demos from, and you, if you've ever watched my videos, you'll, you might recognize some of these. This first result shows me where the, um, the guess that I would get from an equality predicate wildly messes up how many rows would actually come back from that. So uh, this chunk in here, uh, of course, most of it on the post table, but this was all really good. Um, this one here on the votes table uh, was good for, well, I mean, the user ID column in the votes table is all null. So this one was mm, questionable at best, but uh, you know, figuring this sort of stuff out uh, in the script was a little bit, uh, uh, you know, a little, little bit more difficult than I would probably want to get into. But uh, this top one up here on parent ID uh, for in the post table where um, SQL Server guesses 120 rows, um, but we get 6 million rows back. That was a very, very good one. Some of the ones for nulls are good for showing different stuff, like if someone compiles a store procedure with a null parameter. That was good for something different than the local variable stuff. But um, the, the local variable guess stuff for especially the parent ID one uh, and the accepted answer ID one, those were excellent. Uh, and those have spawned a lot of great demos. So um, I, don't, I, I don't know who is going to be interested in this code. I don't know if it's going to be maybe someone who also has to write demos for SQL Server. Um, maybe you have a, a demo database where you want to figure this stuff out. Um, you could do the same thing there, or maybe it, you in your database, you know, maybe you have the code with a lot of local variables and stuff in it, and you want to figure out maybe where, um, you know, your local variables might be causing bad cardinality estimation and performance problems. You could do that with this if you wanted. Um, quite frankly, if I were trying to find poorly performing code, I probably wouldn't start with this. I would probably just start to find queries that have a high CPU and or duration. Then I would try to figure out if local variables or bad cardinality estimates or whatever else are the cause of that. So um, really, this is probably mostly a tool for presenters who want to find good demos. Um, I wouldn't recommend, again, running this in production to, to do anything because um, I, I don't want to be responsible for whatever happens in there from doing all this. <laughs> running those unlicensed DBCC commands. Anyway. Uh, just sort of a fun video with a fun script. Again, I'm, this will be on GitHub. This will also be a link in the, in the video description. Uh, if you feel like giving it a, a spin in your demo database or your non-production database, uh, it might be fun for you. Just remember, if you're running this in an actual database, you're going to want to skip the create statistics part because um, you'll, you might spend a very long time creating statistics on a bunch of columns so that you... <laughs> You have things to look at, uh, but demo database wise, this is a lot of fun. Anyway, um, I, I, I don't know. It's, they, 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 they can all be in-depth SQL Server performance tuning stuff. Sometimes people like to see how the sausage gets made. And at Darling Data, we make a lot of sausage. All right. Recently voted by Beer Gut Magazine to be the, the sausage king of SQL Server. So got a lot going for us here darling data. Anyway, thank you for watching.